Do you dine out at restaurants, eat foods that come from a can or a box, eat junk food or fast foods, or even deli meats? If you're like most Americans, the answer to this question is obviously yes. But did you know that these foods contain a chemical neurotoxin that can damage your nerves, destroy your brain cells, impair your immune system, and cause you to suffer from anxiety or depression? This nerve toxin I'm referring to is MSG. It can pose major roadblocks while you're trying to heal and it can literally kill your nerves. So in today's video, I'm gonna cover what is MSG and where it's found. I'm also gonna cover, is there a difference between naturally occurring MSG and synthetic? And how to protect your nerves from MSG. You don't wanna miss this. Coming up. Hey gang, Dr. M here. If you're ready to conquer your peripheral neuropathy, reclaim your life and start living again, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell to get notified as soon as we publish new content. Now let's dive in. What is MSG? MSG is a potent flavor enhancer and recognized as one of the five basic taste qualities known as umami or savory. In 1968, a chemist, Professor Aikida, had determined that the savory taste was due to L-glutamic acid, also known as glutamate. He realized that by adding a molecule of sodium to glutamic acid, it markedly increased the umami level or the flavor. This substance is what became known as monosodium glutamate, or MSG. In 1969, Professor Aikida filed a patent to produce MSG commercially as a food seasoning. Ironically, MSG is odorless and tasteless by itself, but when added to foods, it brings out those incredible meaty, savory tastes that we find addictive. Today, MSG can be found in most bottled or packaged foods. You'll also find extensive amounts in restaurant foods, fast foods, deli meats, frozen foods, salad dressings, bouillon cubes, breakfast cereals, snack foods, and you'll even find it in pet foods and baby food. Now, there's quite a bit of controversy over whether or not MSG is perfectly safe or incredibly harmful for health. So let me clear this up using objective evidence. For a quick minute, I have to go into just a wee bit of science here, but I promise to make it easy and painless. MSG is a sodium salt of a non-essential amino acid known as L-glutamic acid. You'll often hear the terms glutamate or glutamic acid used interchangeably, and that's because L-glutamic acid gets converted in the body to L-glutamate, and then it can be reconverted to L-glutamic acid once again, so it keeps shifting back and forth. Our body can bounce back and forth constantly between these two molecules. However, there are differences in functions and molecular structures between these two molecules. So if you see the term glutamic acid use, it's usually referring to glutamate. L-glutamate is a naturally occurring amino acid in nature, and you'll find it in tons of whole foods like meat, poultry, fish, eggs, dairy products, seaweeds, and mushrooms. This amino acid plays an enormous role in critical functions within the body. Did you know it's a necessary neurotransmitter for brain function, especially cognition, memory, and learning? So the question is, if glutamate is found abundantly in healthy whole foods, what's the big deal about eating MSG? Well, believe it or not, this question is quite volatile and controversial. If you troll the internet, you'll find two base camps. One that says MSG is perfectly safe for you and healthier than table salt, so you shouldn't worry about eating it. While the second base camp will say that MSG is the devil incarnate and causes tons of diseases, including neurological and cardiovascular diseases. So which is it, safe or harmful? Well, it's both. And because of this, it's critical for you to understand when it's safe and when it can do massive damage to your nerves. First, I want you to realize that L-glutamate is what's known as an excitatory neurotransmitter for the brain. This means its job is to excite the neuron or the nerve cells of the brain. 
and cause it to fire off messages. This neurotransmitter is especially important for memory, cognition, and mood regulation. So it's fair to say that it's an important player for brain health. Now, you might be wondering why I keep saying L-glutamate. Well, that's because there are two forms of glutamate. There's L-glutamate and D-glutamate. L-glutamate is the naturally occurring amino acid you find in whole foods I previously mentioned. And this form is safe to consume in the whole foods. By the way, it's worth mentioning that you'll find this in almost every natural food with the exception of fats. So it's a good thing that this form is safe to eat. However, this amino acid has an evil twin and that evil twin is known as D-glutamate or D-glutamic acid. This is synthetically made, it's artificial, and this is the form that makes up MSG. This form is not safe to consume on a regular basis, and it can do extensive damage to neurons in the brain and the peripheral nervous system. And here's how. Naturally occurring L-glutamate is bound to a protein. So when it enters your body, like when you eat meat, it enters the bloodstream at a slow, controlled pace. At this slower entry rate, our body is perfectly capable of regulating how much it uses. Once the cells have enough for brain and also immune function, the body can shut the gates and break down any excess and excrete it from the body before it can cause harm to the cells. However, when you consume MSG, this synthetic version gets dumped into the body at a very fast rate. D-glutamate enters the body so quickly it spikes the amount of glutamate in the bloodstream by a factor of 8 to 10 times the normal amount. In fact, in the 1970s, researchers found that pharmaceutical MSG used in medications would kill brain cells. Shortly thereafter, they realized that commercially available MSG had the same exact effect. By the way, MSG is still used in many pharmaceutical medications. So, your next question should be, why is this dangerous? Remember, glutamate stimulates nerves to fire. When you constantly consume MSG, it causes dangerous, out of control nerve firing because it's an excitotoxin. And this can happen with peripheral nerves or brain neurons. So let's understand what an excitotoxin does. An excitotoxin is a chemical that causes a nerve cell to become overexcited and fire uncontrollably, whether it's in the brain or the peripheral nervous system. This can lead to nerve cell death. MSG has the potential to inflict long-term damage to brain neurons and peripheral nerves. Even more alarming is that MSG can cross the placental barrier, harming the brains and nervous system of the unborn child. Studies have found that excitotoxins can shorten the lifespan of a healthy nerve cell by overstimulating them to death or interrupting their communication process. Independent researchers have found that MSG plays a significant role in neurological and neurodegenerative brain diseases, including amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, Huntington's disease, anxiety, OCD, and schizophrenia. It has also been shown to create extensive damage to peripheral nerves. Numerous research studies have shown that MSG will elevate chronic pain due to the damage caused to the nerve cells. Chronic MSG consumption can also cause serious reactions, including migraines, insomnia, asthma, depression, mood swings like depression, anxiety, or aggression. It can also cause chronic fatigue. Budding research is now showing a correlation in children with ADHD and MSG consumption. Research further reveals that MSG drastically increases insulin's response, leading to insulin resistance. Now, let's discuss how you get exposed to chronic levels of MSG. Here's the problem. The FDA does not require manufacturers to label foods containing, containing MSG unless the added ingredient is 99% pure MSG. As a result, food manufacturers combine MSG with other components, and as long as they're under that 99% MSG window, they never have to report that MSG is in the product. Even a product label, no MSG, 
often has MSG or free glutamic acid as a result of protein processing. Now, here's the harsh reality. MSG is in just about every box, can, jar, or package of highly processed food, even the ones you think are healthy. So what can you do to avoid MSG? You have to check the ingredient labels on food packages. Commercial food companies go to great lengths to conceal the MSG in their foods by labeling it with deceptive names. It's imperative that you're familiar with these terms so you can identify whether the product you're buying contains MSG or not. The following listed ingredients on labels always contain MSG. Modified food starch, corn starch, or rice starch. Anything with the word hydrolyzed in it, like hydrolyzed vegetable protein, hydrolyzed plant protein, hydrolyzed protein, hydrolyzed whey protein, hydrolyzed corn protein, hydrolyzed yeast, or hydrolyzed soy. Remember, if you see the word hydrolyzed, it doesn't matter what comes after it, it contains MSG. Anything with the word glutamate or glutamic acid, or um, L-glutamate or D-glutamate. Also, monosodium glutamate. That's a clear indication that this contains MSG. And it may also be labeled as monopotassium glutamate. You may also see calcium glutamate, magnesium glutamate, natrium glutamate. These are all MSG. Also, ingredients listed as plant protein extract, calcium caseinate, sodium caseinate, yeast extract, yeast food, yeast nutrient, or autolyzed yeast. Also, textured protein, soy protein isolate, soy protein concentrate, whey protein isolate, xanthan gum, gelatin, these all contain MSG. Now, these ingredients quite often contain MSG, and they'll be labeled as glutamic acid, bouillon, broth, stock, carrageenan, and you'll see a bunch of this in pet foods as well. You may also see the term natural flavors, beef flavoring, chicken flavoring, seasoning, spices, malt extract, malt flavoring, barley malt, malted barley flour, maltodextrin, soy sauce, or soy sauce extract. These all contain MSG, typically. Have you ever wondered why there's this cat and mouse game between the food industry and consumers where the food industry tries to hide the MSG and the consumer is constantly trying to screen foods for the presence of MSG? Well, you probably already guessed the answer. MSG is an extremely cheap flavor enhancer that makes food taste so much better. It makes food addictive and it drives up sales and profits. Fortunately, consumers like yourself are becoming educated on the health-destroying properties of MSG and learning how to recognize its presence in food. Now, let's have some fun. Let's look at some of the most popular foods to see if they contain MSG. So what I did was I Googled the top selling brands of various random food categories. So let's see what popped up. Who doesn't love pizza? DiGiorno is definitely a top selling brand of pizza in the US. Let's take a peek at the label. Well, the first thing we see here is malted barley flour, which is under the category of sometimes containing MSG. Now, I know you want to hold on to the hope that this is the one time this ingredient doesn't have MSG. So let's take a look further. Here we have modified food starch, which is listed under the always contains MSG category. We also see flavoring, natural flavors, and gang, there's never anything natural about this term. This is a deceptive term which is almost always used to hide the presence of MSG. Further down, we see yeast and spices. Now, I do want to point out that I didn't even mention all the other highly toxic chemicals in this ingredient list, like sodium nitrite, BHA, BHT, palm oil, vegetable oil, and hydrogenated vegetable oil, and fructose. We'll go over all of those in a future video where I'll cover how they poison nerve cells and, and can be carcinogenic. But needless to say, this product is loaded with MSG. So is it any wonder it tastes so good? Well, let's take a look at a couple of very popular yogurts on the market. Yogurt's healthy, right? So first, we'll look at YoPlay yogurt. 
This yogurt contains modified cornstarch and regular cornstarch, both of which contain MSG. We also see the term natural flavors, which is often used to hide MSG. And although this video is all about MSG, I do want to point out that this yogurt also contains potassium sorbate, which is found to be toxic to human DNA and peripheral blood lymphocytes, which negatively impacts immunity and not to mention it's carcinogenic. Well, let's look at its competitor, a Greek yogurt, Chobani. The ingredients in this yogurt overall look much cleaner, much better, but here again we see the dreaded natural flavors. Okay, because this can be confusing, get ready for a side note guys so I can explain why natural flavors on a food or beverage label isn't good. Natural flavors are defined as those that derive their aroma or flavor chemicals from plant or animal sources, including fruit, meat, fish, spices, herbs, roots, leaves, buds, or bark. Well, so far so good. Let's read further. That are distilled, fermented, or otherwise manipulated in a lab. Ha! So here's the loophole. David Andrews, a scientist at the Environmental Working Group, or the EWG, a research and advocacy organization, says the loophole created by this term, manipulated in a lab, means that for non-organic foods, the government regulations do not restrict the wide variety of ingredients that typically go into so-called natural flavorings, like hundreds of toxic ingredients, preservatives, and solvents, uh, leaving very little difference between natural and artificial flavors. Here's an unknown fact. Flavor manufacturers of non-organic products are not required to disclose their ingredients on food labels. They can add synthetic solvents, preservatives, emulsifiers, carriers, and other additives to a flavor that qualifies as natural under current governmental regulations. And the commercial food industry has taken full advantage of this loophole to hide MSG, not to mention numerous other chemicals. Now, you might be wondering how Healthy Foods holds, holds up under this scrutiny. Well, let's take a look at Healthy Choice Chicken and Rice Soup. It has modified rice starch, isolated soy protein, modified corn starch, flavorings, and yeast extract. Well, so much for healthy. Get ready for another side note, gang. Here's why MSG is so addictive. The average adult has anywhere between 2,000 to 10,000 taste buds on their tongue, and infants and young children can have up to 30,000. Each taste bud has multiple glutamate receptors, which MSG activates to enhance the intensity of umami, sweet, salty, and fatty tastes. This makes the foods far more palatable than, than, than they would have been on their own. It also amplifies the taste intensity and increases flavor, making the foods addictive. So let's get to the important part now. How do we detoxify our nerves and our body from MSG? When glutamate accumulates, it remains in the space between nerve cells, known as the synapse. This happens when you're eating foods daily, which contain MSG. This accumulation can lead to too many glutamate receptors being continuously activated and nerve cells in the brain and peripheral nervous system being constantly excited or burnt out. With time, the nerve cell receptors become oversensitive to glutamate and far fewer molecules of glutamate are now necessary to overexcite the nerves. And this is a significant reason why you want to, de want to detox your body from the glutamate. So let's look at a few ways you can do that. The first most cost-effective and easiest way to detox from MSG is by hydrating with water. That's right, use good old water to flush the excess glutamate out of your body. You should consume about three liters of water, which is about 100 ounces daily. Do not drink tap water. You need to drink filtered water. Dr. C goes into more detail about this in our video, Drink This to Calm Your Nerves. Make sure you check out this video. It has so much valuable information in it. 
You can also take a taurine supplement to prevent damage from excess glutamate. Taurine blocks excitability in neurons and can, ca can calm your nervous system to prevent further damage. Depending on the MSG toxicity, we recommend taking between 500 milligrams to two grams of taurine daily. Studies have determined that taurine is safe at doses up to six grams per day. Ginger has also been shown in research to mitigate the damage caused to neurons by MSG by decreasing the nerve inflammation. Taking between 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams daily significantly nullifies the effects of MSG. Make sure you check out the video we did on ginger. Calendula, a flowering plant, has proven to have a protective effect against MSG-induced oxidative stress to neurons. It's been shown in research to reduce oxidative stress caused by MSG, and it can revert the depletion of antioxidant levels by up to 122%. 750 milligrams of calendula flour taken daily can significantly protect and eliminate MSG-induced oxidative stress. The last one I'll mention today is ginkgo biloba. This herb has been shown to prevent significant MSG-induced toxicity and damage to neurons of the brain and the peripheral nervous system. It's also been shown to have a protective effect on neurons of the spinal cord, preventing excitotoxicity and oxidative stress to these nerve cells. Recommended doses range from 120 milligrams up to 240 milligrams daily. Now, ginkgo can potentially have unfavorable reactions with certain medications like blood thinners, including aspirin, antidepressants and NSAIDs like ibuprofen or naproxen. So make sure you consult your doctor before taking ginkgo biloba if you're on any of these medications. Well, gang, I hope this video has been crystal clear. MSG is a potent neurotoxin that can have detrimental effects on your nervous system and your overall health. However, armed with knowledge and the right strategies, you can protect yourself and your loved ones from the dangers of MSG. When battling any neurological disorder or neurodegenerative disease, it's absolutely imperative that you make a conscientious choice to avoid MSG at all costs. It can be the single most powerful limiting reagent in your ability to recover. Remember, your nerve health is your most valuable asset. So make the conscious choice to eliminate MSG from your diet because your journey to healing your nerves begins now. Before we go, I'd like to ask you for a favor. It's our mission to create a neuropathy-free tribe around the world, and we need your help to do that. If you've enjoyed this video, please like us and share it with others. The most frightening challenge for neuropathy, neuropathy sufferers is feeling alone and hopeless. Together, we can help others realize that they don't have to live a life of this misery, and they're not alone. Also, please subscribe to our channel, which helps us continue to deliver valuable content to you. Oh, and don't forget to click on the bell to get notified as soon as we release our next video. Until next time, my dear friends, I look forward to seeing you on the road to great nerve health. Blessings. MSG is a potent flavor enhancer, isn't it? You don't eat MSG, do you? No, mom and dad cook your food for you. And I have no idea what's coming next. It got stuck. <laughs>